keep entering into the city where I'm going to go buy Snapchat spectacles. I got him. <laughs> and there is a whole story to the chaos that I had to go through to get these stupid glasses. First, I got a little story time about what it took to get these because it was not as simple as I thought it was going to be. But if you don't want to listen to the story and you want to skip to the actual opening of the glasses, I'll leave a timestamp on the video now. So you can skip to that time if you don't want to listen to the story, but it is a story. <laughs> so the storefront in New York opens at 4 p.m. I woke up at 11, got on the bus at 12, and I was at the storefront at about 2 o'clock. That's how long it took. Maybe a quarter to 2 is how long it took for me to actually get there. So I was there two hours before it would open. I thought maybe there'd be a long line. I would just have to wait a couple hours in line, and it would be fine. That's not how they do things at the Spectacle storefront in New York. So I went up to the guy at the front door. He says, hold out your right wrist. I held out my wrist. He put a wristband on it, and he said, come back at 7. It was only just then, too. So he told me, come back at 7 p.m. If it opens at 4, why do I have to come back at 7? So I asked him, what? And they do what they do now. They didn't do this when it first opened. You get put in a group at a certain time slot. I don't know how many of these time slots there are, but I asked him, what time would I have needed to get here to get a wristband for 4 p.m.? He said 7 a.m. So they probably have a wristband for every hour. I got there at 2 p.m. My wristband was for 7. So I have five hours to just kill in the city. I could have gone home, but by the time I got home, I would have been getting on a bus in another hour anyway. So I just decided to stick it out. I stayed in the city. I walked around for five hours. Mind you, my legs are so sore today because I actually was walking the entire five hours. 25,000 steps is what I took going around the city. I went to Dunkin' Donuts. I went to H&M. I bought a sweater that I then put on because it was so cold by the time the sun set. I did not plan on being in the city that late, but they didn't tell you online that you have to get there really early and you get a wristband for a certain time to come back. I didn't know that. I thought you get there and you line up and they open it at four and there's just a big line. But I guess it makes sense they can't really do that. I don't know. And eventually I walked all the way back to the Spectacle storefront, 10 to 7. I, walked, I saw some people already lined up inside. I walk up to the guy and I showed him my wristband and he said, that's for 7 o'clock. I said, yeah. He asked me, what time is it? I said, it's 10 to 7. He said, yeah, it's not 7. So I had to wait on the sidewalk. Uh, the people who were inside were the people from the time slot before me, I guess 6 o'clock. I don't really know what how many of these time slots there are. But there were a couple other people waiting on the sidewalk. By the time it was 5 to 7, we were all still standing there, not lined up in any way. And a guy came up and they, he said, are these people all waiting for spectacles? And the guy at the front door said, well, they're not supposed to be waiting. Where am I going to go when it's 5 to 7? I'm going to stand in front of the store until it opens at 7. So finally 7 o'clock hit, we were allowed to line up and we got in. It took me about 30 minutes to get to the front of the line where I finally got these. And I still haven't opened them yet, but that's what we're going to do now. So they're still sealed and everything. I didn't even break the seal on these, so I'm going to do that. These better be worth all the trouble that I went through because I am sore because <laughs> I walked so much. But while I was walking, a nice boy told me that was pretty, so <laughs> All right. That was harder than it should have been. Um, so you get your little glasses case in your your tube. Should I keep the tube? You think I could sell the tube on eBay for an amount of money? All right, so we got our little triangle glasses case. I picked black, um, as you could tell from the little, <gasps> oh, almost dropped them. Uh, black seemed like the nicest color. I don't like the other colors because they have weird like, the colors are nice, but then they have weird patterns on the frame part, or on the side, and I don't like those. Okay, so we got a nice little heavy-duty case. The instructions, which I have to set up now, and your glasses, which these are cool. I mean, you look like a dork when you're wearing them, but... I don't know, I think they're pretty slaggy. <laughs> pretty swanky. What is this? Oh, there's a thing to peel. Oh, the button! Okay, there's a little piece of plastic on the button. Alright, put those down. Let me open my instructions so I can set these up to my phone. Oh, whoa, this is cool. 
All right, so it comes with a little lens cleaner. Uh, whatever this is. Oh, ha! Uh, warranty and not important. Oh, this plugs in... What? I didn't know it came with a wire. So you can plug it in your computer? Where does this other part go? All right, so this says turn on your phones. All right, let's get my phone out. All right, Bluetooth is on. Spectacles are on. Install the latest version of Snapchat. All of my apps are updated. Good thing I did that beforehand. Um, open Snapchat and swipe down to view your snap code. Okay, right, snap code. Uh, look at your snap code and press the button on your spectacles once to pair. <gasps> spectacles found! This is so cool. Shovel specs. Oh my god, name your spectacles. Well, Pierre, yeah, I'm gonna name them Shovel Specs. I like that. That's cool. Oh my god, this is awesome. This was so worth five hours walking around the city. Oh my god, the case! The case charges it! So you're supposed to be able to check the battery. Oh, but you check battery level by tapping it. So I got half the battery. Is what that looks like. Okay, so you tap the side twice and it, it tells you how much battery. There it is. There's like a little plug so you can plug the USB directly into your computer and put this in or when you put it in their case they charge because there's a little port right here like the tiniest little little doohickey in there. Specs. It was watching that whole time that I was doing that and it's got my hair all up in its face. You're gonna see the mess of my room. Okay. I put them down. I wasn't even recording. This is my lizard cage. And there's my hair just chilling in front of it. Okay, I'm gonna delete that part. I'm gonna go record like something fun and then come back and we'll be done with these. This is, I'm so excited about this. Hey, baby. <laughs> She's stretching. <laughs> Good girl. You got a ball? You got a ball? Come here. Come here. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really gonna enjoy these glasses because oh my god, they're so cool. I'm charging them now because I only had like about half charge, so while they're in their case, you can see it charging, which is so cool. <laughs> Make sure to follow me on Snapchat since there's gonna be lots of videos with these glasses, otherwise, they were not worth the money. <laughs> Be sure to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.